Hello ladies, I'm back. And as you can see, this is a very unusual doll that I have here. And I'd like to report to y'all. Y'all gave me some good wishes for my doll show that I went to. And I actually got this um, very unique um, baby boy toddler here from the that doll show. And I traded with um, a vendor that was next to me, at uh, the table next to me, for, some, for my doll. And I just want to say I made a wonderful friend, and her name is Miss Beverly. If, I don't know if she'll be watching this or not, but um, I made a wonderful new dolly friend. And I traded her one of my dolls for this big boy here. And he has an amazing story that goes along with him, the history, I guess you would say, of him. And I don't know if y'all are like me, but I love if I'm able to track, like, the history and the story behind each doll that I get. I mean, as you know, some of the dolls we know more about than others, but I really like it when it's like a mystery and I can um, track the history of my doll. So this is one that I tracked as history. Uh, Miss Beverly didn't know too much about him. She just knew that her mother had um, this doll and that's about all she knew. And she knew that um, his face is molded, was molded after a real child at the time. And that's what she knew about it. So um, I brought him home to me because I thought he was so unusual. I couldn't pass him up. And I um, went to clean him up and undress him and everything. And I found more information on underneath his bangs. I found his artist's name. So with that information, I went on the internet. And I was like, kind of like a cross between a stalker and an investigator, I guess you would say. So I tracked down the artist of this doll and I also tracked down the artist's son who this doll was made after and actually I got in contact with the son first I was able to get in contact with the son first and he was kind enough to um, pass on my information to his mother who was the artist of this doll so we got in contact and she told me all about the history of this doll and others that she had made that were similar to him so let me give you a little bit of details of this baby boy first and then I'll tell you the story of the history of him <clears throat> I hope y'all are all well so we get a little bit closer so I know some of y'all may not appreciate him but I really enjoy him um, he's a very unusual unique doll and he has a great history like I said so his face and his hands and his feet are made of like a um very hard um uh, what am I saying? Paper mache material, something similar to that. It's, I don't believe that it's clay. Um, it's very lightweight. So he's actually, he just has a face here, almost like a mask. And this is cloth back here. So that was put onto a cloth body. And then his wig, of course. And he is made in the likeness. The artist's name is Deb. And she lives in Canada. She has long since retired from doll making. Um, but she is a very um, interesting and um, wonderful lady from what I've gathered. And I've spoke to her some on um, messages. And uh, her son that this doll is named, is made after, the likeness is made after, is named Ian. And like I said, they live in Canada. So it's, he came a pretty far away, all the way to here in the United States to me. And he, the doll is around um, 36 or 37 years old. And her, it was made after the likeness of her son when he was three or four. And now um, her son is about 40. So um, this doll was made after him. Here's a good viewpoint of him. So his face, his hands and feet are made of this, um, like a plaster or... Um, Paper mache, very hard paper mache. And I see you can tap on it. It's very hard. And she got, it looks like she got a lot of details. She got a smiling, happy boy. And he's got glass eyes in there. And his body, um, she made him a body. His body is um, completely cloth. And then he has armatures in his legs and arms. So he's very poseable. And he holds his kitty there. And he's wearing size. Um, I believe it's 3T clothes right now. He's got overalls on and his shirt and tennis shoes. 
um, and he wears about size 5 tennis shoe. And he's got his hat on here, his old navy hat, and his kitty. And that's the kitty he came with that he likes to hold. So I'm going to go shopping for some clothes at the thrift store for him. Because this is the only outfit he has. And I don't have any clothes big enough to fit this big boy. So we're going to have to get some more clothes for him. So now, if you'd like, and you can see his face and hands are shiny. And that's because of the material that he's made out of. Um, I guess technically he would be a reborn type of doll. Um... And I'm still speaking with the artist, and I'm trying to find out how exactly she made the face. If she was, it was like a live cast, or um, if she sculpted it somehow, I'm not sure. But I do know that it was made specifically after her son's likeness, him at three years old. So um, I'll be interested to find more out exactly how she made it, made him. So that is a story about details about him. But now I'd like to tell you kind of the story behind the story so she told me um the his artist that um she had made other dolls but like newborn size and she had a good friend of hers that um had an, a, a son that was um i believe an adoptive or foster son and um she really uh, um he had i think since moved on away to another family and she really wanted a um, doll, a likeness made after him. So she asked Deb if she could make a doll. And it would be a much bigger doll than she's ever made before. Um, because he would have been, he would be toddler size. So that's the first type of doll she made. I don't believe necessarily that the one, the first one was made after, to look like her son. It was made to look like um, her friend's adoptive um, child. But she made that one, and the the mommy just adored that doll. And so I guess she was so happy she talked about the doll to other people. And the word got out that um, Miss Deb was making these beautiful big toddlers. So other people asked if she would make them dolls or make dolls, big dolls, toddlers like this one. So she went on to make um, more dolls. And I, from the information she gave me, there is... Um, six in this series there was three that were made to be boys after her, her son's likeness and then the same old there was um three that were made girls with the same face so there were six made all together boy and girl of this mold and then there was I believe there was three others made from the adoptive child's um, likeness mold so um that was three more so i believe there was nine from what i'm understanding of these type of toddler dolls made and it originally started with um, a request from her friend to make her a doll um, after her um, friend's adoptive son so that's how it all started with these dolls and then um, she said after a while she um, declined to make any more of the big toddlers because it was just too much for her um, so she went back I guess to making the smaller babies but she is retired from doll making. She does not make dolls anymore. So I'm very um, blessed to have this baby in my collection. So that was the story behind the story of this um, baby or toddler Ian. So I hope you all like him and enjoy him. And um, the next video, I'll have him in a new outfit. And I will um, probably have his cap off and I'll have his hair brushed. He has, he has pretty nice hair, so... I like to brush it. He looks just like a little man with him when I put a part in there and brush it. So I will do that next video of him. And I hope y'all are having a great, and here you can see, and he's, I really love how you can bend his arms and legs with armatures. And I hope y'all having a wonderful day. I did have a great time at the um, local doll show. Like I said, I met some new dolly friends, specifically a very good friend um, named Miss Beverly where I got this baby doll from but it wasn't just that that I'm excited about having her as my friend she's just a really um beautiful person inside and out and I really enjoyed being with her that day so we're gonna have some hopefully having some more dolly meetups together because she doesn't live too far from me about an hour from me so I will talk to y'all soon I just wanted to share Ian with you here and share his um his history 
or his backstory. So let me know what you think about him, and I hope y'all enjoy him as much as I do. He's a very unique little boy, or big boy. He's Oh, and I forgot to tell you, he's 33 inches. So he's actually, I believe, the biggest doll that I have in my collection. Yes, he's the biggest boy. So next video, I would just like to let y'all know I have quite a few dolls left um, from, I did sell a couple, but I have quite a few dolls left from the uh, doll show they did not sell. I have those four that I showed you. None of those sold. They got a lot of attention, but they didn't sell. So I have those four and have quite a few others out of my collection that I'm going to be selling. So if any of y'all are familiar with my collection of doll, my private collection of dolls, and you're interested in any of them, just, um, you know, message me on Facebook or comment if you're interested in any of those dolls, because I may be willing to part with them. I'm going to be downsizing quite a bit in my collection. So, um, just let me know and I will, my next video I'll actually be showing you know the different dolls that I do have for sale so I'll talk to y'all soon stay safe and stay blessed and Ian is happy to meet all his aunties and uncles and I will talk to you very soon I appreciate each and every one of you